In the recent chapters of Windbreaker, the Hummingbird crew, or better say Jay, Dom, Shelly and TJ, travel to Japan to get Jay's frame repaired or so get him a new frame. And the recent arc, the Japan arc, could become the most important arc of the series, as it seems like it is going to be the number one arc to prepare the final arcs of Windbreaker, and in this video, I'm going to explain why. So in Japan, Jay and his friends didn't get a warm welcome from the Kazuma crew, with Kanijiro as their leader. And now the light cavalry crew of course, because of Owen and Shelly's dad, who are still worried about the whole jay Shelly relationship situation, also got involved in this whole scenario. So this means that we currently know three crews that will be part of the world series at the end of the manhwa. Hummingbird, who at one point will be the greatest Korean crew, the Kazuma crew, which is the greatest crew in Japan, and the Light Cavalry crew, which is the most successful crew in Europe. I'm wondering if we are going to meet crews from North America or other continents later in the manhwa, because we already know for example that Owen used to be friends with New York Street by crews in the US before he went back to England to found his own crew, the Light Cavalry crew. So I wouldn't be surprised if you would see crews from the US in the future as well. And what is also very interesting to see here is that Kazuma and Light Carry kind of have history together, since Kazuma is responsible for hurting one of Light Carry members Tommy, who especially seems to be an important friend to Harry. On the left side, we could see the back of another member of the Light Carry crew, who might be introduced at the end of the manhwa. Once all the crews of each country and continents collide in a final competition or race. So what is also interesting is that the Kazuma crew is a crew that is super confident when it comes to beating the Light Cavalry crew and it seems like they aren't afraid of the other members like Noah and Harry as they must have beaten them in races in the past but they are for sure afraid of Owen and have huge respect for Owen and we can see this as they repeatedly mention that the Light Cavalry crew doesn't stand any chance against them without Owen. I can't wait to see Owen in the final race with his bike when he will go all out against Jay and Hummingbird. The match between Hummingbird and Light Carry against Kazuma is also very important because of several reasons. So first of all, I do think that Light Carry will get their revenge and win the race together with Hummingbird. I think Noah will be the one this time that will end up as the first place at the end of the race because Noah for sure needs this win. She has lost twice against Jay, and it also seems like she lost her feud with Kanijiro. So therefore Noah is the weak link for now, and letting Noah win would be a huge help to give her some respect. I think that Dom will be a big key and help for Noah's win, and Dom in general has become one of my favorite characters through the past couple of weeks. We gotta remind that Dom has never even touched a bike before at the beginning of the series and is now the strongest member of Hummingbird and one of the strongest sprinters in the series. And he achieved all of this just through hard work and training, which he got from Shelly's dad who was a world class rider in the past. And without Dom and his unbreakable ambition and hard training, I'm gonna be honest, Hummingbird wouldn't even exist anymore. Dom is literally carrying this team right now, performance wise, but also when it comes to leading the team and keeping everyone together. Because Winnie, who once was a major pillar in the team, left the crew and has become the biggest rival now. Mino still can't even walk and won't ever be able again to help Hummingbird actively. June has always just been mediocre and Shelly is also far away from the skill level. So there's literally just Dom left and I'm really excited to see how Hummingbird will fix this problem in the final of the League of Street competition or if it is just going to be a multi 2v2 between the final crews. I still think and have this theory of Yumi joining Hummingbird in the finals to compete against her ex-boyfriend Winnie. If you haven't watched my video about this theory, you can find the link in the description below. And Jay seriously needs to step up his game. I don't know if the spoilers that I saw for the upcoming chapter are true, because it seems like Jay is going to do a big comeback after he fell off his bike in the recent chapter and win the race, as the rule was also especially mentioned in the beginning that you will win the race with any route possible. So who arrives first at the finish line will win, simple as that. And I really hope that Jay isn't going to win like this, because this would just be a huge plot armor twist for Jay and kind of disappointing towards Dom and the others who like kind of had their training arc and who are above him in terms of skill and experience and it would feel cheap for me if Jay is going to win like this. And like I just mentioned, I'm sure that Jay will have his major moments in this race but he will not be able to beat the Kazuma crew skill wise. But he will need this race to realize that he can't just win against the others with pure talent. 
through this race. Jay Ray realized that he needs to put in some work and improve as well, like Dom did to be able to keep up with the others. Because in this form, he won't stand any chance against Vinny in the final of the League of Street competition. And there have already been hints that Jay will learn some new techniques and that he will realize at one point that he needs to improve. Because for example before the race, Noah asked if Jay worked on a technique that she explained him, but Jay denied this and admitted that he basically just has been too lazy. That's just how it is. So while Winnie has Sang Ho as a mentor, who was Mahon's biggest rival and teammate in the past, I feel like Jay is going on a different way. By competing against all these talented riders like the Light Carry crew and now Kazuma, I feel like Jay will pick up some new techniques from each opponent he is facing. Because if you remember, when Jay was facing Owen in the League of Street bonus event, Jay picked up Owen's leaning technique and later on used it against Noah. From Noah, he will learn how to utilize the muscle conversion on his abductors and adductors, and I'm sure that he will learn something from Kanishiro as well. It already looked like she was able to use a much better version of Jay's famous inertia drift. I think at the end, Jay will be the best rider in the world who is capable of using the best techniques on the best riders in the world in any situation, while Winnie will become the reincarnation of Sang Ho. Furthermore, Jay will finally get a bike at the end of this arc or a frame that will be able to withstand his style. Because as we know Jay is a pretty ruthless rider and his techniques and way of riding for sure can do a lot of damage on his bike, so therefore he needs a frame or bike in general with world class quality that will not only help him to become faster, but also bring a huge durability with it. Alright guys, what do you think about the current arc and my thoughts? Let me know in the comments below, and as always, stay safe and have a nice day.